Now let's have a look at the Wenke-Back protocol. This will start an S1 of 800 milliseconds and then have an ever decreasing S1. This is where you're looking for AV block, both in the anti-grade and the retrograde conduction, depending whether you're using the atrium or the ventricle to pace. So we'll start pacing there. It will start by decreasing by 20 milliseconds. And as you get a shorter S1, you'll also get a shorter decrement in the milliseconds as well. Okay, so now let's say that you see block, you press increase, the increase button, and it will hold, it will go up by one and then hold the pacing at that interval. Then you can decrease it again, like so, and then just check that that is truly the wanky back position. Now this is a good compromise between a fully automated system and a manual system. Sometimes doctors prefer to just go straight for manual and not worry about the automated wanky back. In that case, you can just go to the PACE protocol, start at 800 milliseconds as you would with the wanky back, start pacing, and then just manually decrement the S1 every three beats or so. And then when you get wanky back, simply stop pacing.